You smoking my shit? You smoking my shit? Hell no. You smoking my shit? You smoking my shit? I'm gonna have to fuck, fuck you up. Fuck. Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. Are you the last brother money I mess with? Please don't play with me. We don't play that. Please don't play with me. We don't play that. Please don't play with me. We don't play that. If you play with me, you won't get that pay back. We don't play that shit, not a little bit. As long as every idea we do is a fucking hit, we're good. <laughs> we got 10 days. We just gotta make one amazing song every day. And it'll be mission accomplished. No room for failure. No room for error. No pressure. Oh yeah, they change up, but we ain't never changed. Real. I stay connect like Wi-Fi. Small circle of friends that I got. Same yeah. ones round with me, them and down with me. They'll be there when we on top. There won't be a show that I don't rock. Always keep it real, we don't go pop. But still got sold out, show lined up. Got the block, hustle, don't stop. Haters, they gon' plot. They see what you got, they gon' want it too. Stay in tune. Streets is cool like lunchroom, bully, still in food. On the move. So much to do and little time to prove. Myself to anybody, never put a dollar in the pocket of the crew. Oh, niggas. Essentially, the plan was simple. We're coming to Amsterdam to make an album. Book a studio, get flights, pick the team, who we wanted to bring out, who we wanted to work with while we were here. Reaching out to Yoa from the greenhouse. We needed to plug out here because we was coming to smoke big, have a good fucking time, and make some dope ass music inspired by the environment that we were in, which was Amsterdam. So what were we talking about? <laughs> well, we just got here. Yeah, we just touched down Amsterdam. Stony Point 2. And this is the only way to do it. As soon as you land, get off the plane, come directly to the greenhouse. That's the only way to do the Amsterdam, in my opinion. Oh, Ten hour flight, straight to the greenhouse. What do we got? We got some fucking Panama Kush. We got some pure Kush. This is reminiscent of the West Coast fucking weed right here. It's a beautiful thing in Amsterdam. Bust down some flavor, bust down some history. Let's get, let's get, uh, let's get some fire, man. The wine snow is the one that I would say is the Christian weed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look at this. That's the cheese right there. Cheesy. Cheese, man. Cheese. One of Europe's classics. Oh, yeah. Straight out of England, out of Luton. Old school straight, man. Nice, yeah. sweet flavor. In the skunk and smell. Yeah. Smoke this pretty fast. Come back a little more. Wake up, wake up, roll another one Thank God I woke up to the morning sun One day I know that my day will come Have to face all the fears I've been running from Wake up, wake up, roll another one Thank God I woke up to the morning sun One day I know that my day will come Have to face all the fears I've been running from I don't know if it was Demrick that came up with it or me I know we both love Amsterdam And we both love the vibe So as soon as the idea popped up we locked onto it. I know it, it, it happened so fast. It was like, it, it got mentioned and we were like, yup, that's it. That's how we're doing it. I think we were on tour. I think, I don't know. That's a great fucking question. When did we decide this shit? I don't know, we, we kept trying to figure out when we was gonna be able to take the time out of our busy schedules with him touring and me touring and him making music. When were we gonna get a moment where he could sit down, make a bunch of beats, and I could sit down and write a bunch of songs tailored for the Stony Point vibe. One day I know that my day will come. Have to face all the fears I've been running from. So how would you describe how you how you dig for records? What's your style? The original style for me is just straight album covers. Yeah. Just a fly album cover alone will tell you like the vibe of the record. You gotta look for great photos and great vibes. Right? Like these dudes are off obviously on some shit. Yeah. So I would fuck with this record no matter what. I started with like straight classical records because that's what my mom had. And then you start learning about labels and check the labels and see who released it, the year it was released, and you, you find the sounds you like. Remember me, Mr. Chopper Hopper B. Just wanna own his masses and some property. No monopoly, this real life moves. Fuck these fake ass rappers, that's my real life move. When you realize you, one of the greats gonna fill my shoes. Know the base, but still I prove through my catalog. I war test, they test my battle scars But most these niggas living through their avatars I'm seasoned, no added sauce And the world keeps stressing So I'm smoking like a bad exhaust Man, 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 man Straight bars Know the base, but still I prove Through my catalog Boy, 
make focus Cinema video. Cinema top. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, it's very style. It, it depends on the style you're mixing. Right. So if you guys feel like you lower the vocals a bit, let me know. We'll I'll just keep just, bumping it. Like, keep doing it the yeah. way you're doing, especially because you're working on the vocals right now. But, uh, Back in the day, I'm moving straight to the We definitely want those drums to, we want those drums to it's knock. Like, yeah. yeah. It's long flights past what stamps immigration. So when they say you can't smoke left weed left in the studio, it don't matter. Wider because you can roll up, the blaze the outside, come in, and this shit will get you. Right signal, right. The wider you're good along the way. I gotta, I gotta come up with a better chorus for it, bro. Different melody. The chorus is dope. The melody you got right now just goes with the with the melody of the beat. We need something that's like a counter melody to the beat. Yeah. Let's work on that one. Let's, that's that's like the ad lib one. Like right. Your ad libs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's yeah. work on that one later. Yeah. My name is Tantu. I'm working on a project as an engineer. I'm actually from the Netherlands. I live very close to Amsterdam, so it's pretty easy to get here. And it's awesome that they're flown out here to, to do this project, man. They used to try to hate, but they love me now. Every time I come around, shut it down. Tell that bad one come and rub me down. <laughs> Talking shit, but on the low, I know you love the sound. Every time I come around, shut it down. Shut it down. Then love me then, bitch don't love me now. What I like about the culture in Amsterdam is just the vibe of the people. Real chill, laid back, but real polite. But man, just the, the lifestyle out there is so chill. Everybody that we ran into, man, showed us so much hospitality from the greenhouse to the bulldog. It was such a good vibe out there, such a good place to get creative. My name's Kiron, I'm from the bulldog in Amsterdam. And we're here at the coffee shop on the Lights Plain. We're the very first coffee shop in Amsterdam in the red light district in 1975. As a company, we try to offer everything to everybody. Beginner smokers, connoisseurs, everything. And people who don't even smoke, drinkers, live music, entertainment, the whole Amsterdam experience. We try to pride ourselves in being the living room of Amsterdam. Um, it's something we really have tried to do for the last 48 years, and it's uh, it's worked out really well. Thank you, sir. Uh, your boy has my number. If you need anything in the meantime, let me know. Okay. Okay. Want advice or help? Yes, yes. Across the paradise. Yeah. So just so go to the studio. Yeah, yeah, perfect. 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 Give me a heads up before I know organize all that shit. Okay, cool. Love. Keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah. Thanks. I love the culture in Amsterdam. The fact that there's people from all over the place that are here all the time. Even though you're in the city and it's all, you know, happening, there's something common about being out here. Saying peace to all moments in the project, mean to tell them Mr. P, my Jack. Freeze and see, drop it in Greece. 40 below zero was the flow of the track. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Hold on, man, he got it. Yeah, He's fired up. Hey, right. You handle the raps, let him handle the all beatbox. Right, all right. Let him handle the beatbox. Beat. Right. I came from EBTs and food stamps, 4D. No room in that back seat is too cramped. I came from public housing, government assisted section eight, bunk beds. If we bump heads and tips to set them straight. Came from a single pair home, my pops locked away. Mom raised your kids alone, that strength come from a special place. Came from my step pop, whipping my ass with flip flops. First nigga I seen blow it all off some crack rock. Came from Spokane, small city where they segregate. Such an unlikely place to birth this rap heavyweight. I came from Philly, that city taught me don't segregate. Every day we hustle, gotta fight out here to get your plate. Came from Cypress Hill, said dog and be real. Them niggas showed me the ropes way before I had a deal. Came from an open bar with my boy Exhibit. He told me go and tell your truth, they gon' know if you don't live it. That's the difference. Yeah. As soon as like 
man, I saw those High Times magazines and I just wanted to go to Amsterdam so bad. Because the cup was like, I feel like the cup started out here. Like, it was like only yeah, out here. Yeah, it started out here. It yeah. did, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so like, I was like a little kid with a porno, but it was the, the weed nugs. And I was just like, oh my God, we have them stapled to the wall. Like, they had yeah. a little fold out. Yeah. Magnified photos of the weed. In the old high times. One day, one day, man. Yeah, in the high times. It'd be like the centerfold, but it'd be a nug of weed. You know what I mean? Like, the shit. (laughs) Like, taking a good photo. I was like, one day, man, I'm gonna go to Amsterdam and just be smoking out there. So it's crazy to be out here. It's crazy to be out here. And especially then, you know, you guys weren't where you are nowadays, you know? Yeah. So, especially in those days, this was... uh, And it still is, basically, you know? Because this still isn't in America. Yeah. Yeah, this vibe is like... In Amsterdam yeah. vibe, you just yeah. can't create it. Yeah. No, so we have we've had very uh, we had many uh, cool things and uh, like ASAP Rocky is coming many times. Wiz Khalifa, of course. You yeah. Know, and uh, ASAP used uh, next door the coffee shop as a studio in the night. You know. Yeah. So we when we closed up, uh, we set up the whole coffee shop as a studio, and then, uh, and then used it in the night. You know. Yeah. Uh, put candles everywhere. You know, and uh, make music. You know, lives. yeah. Like I was telling you before, like in those days, Amsterdam had more than one thousand coffee shops. You know, and then at one point, the government thought it was too much, so they wanted to, you know, limit it a little bit. So yeah. they came up with a couple of rules in the last couple of years here in the red light district. They had something called Project Thousand Twelve. So Thousand Twelve is the area code, mm-hmm. the zip code of this of this uh, area here. And then they said there's an over concentration of coffee shops in this area and they need to upgrade the area a little bit. So, so they appointed 26 coffee shops here also that just needed to be closed. What is, what is the most important thing about the coffee shop and the, and the, and the best thing is that you know, people integrate in the coffee shop. You, know, you have a joint, they don't call it a joint for nothing, they call it a joint because it goes round and it joins people, right? Yeah. I mean, where in the world do you see on one table, like you see next door, on one table you have an atheist, a Christian, a Muslim, and somebody, and a Rastafari sitting yeah. at one table and having a discussion about, you know, about yeah. peacefully, you know? Yeah. And I being mean, from different parts of the, of the fucking world too. Yeah, right exactly. Here. Yeah, you know, so we have all colors, all sizes, everything is coming in the coffee shop, and when they come in the coffee shop, everything is peaceful. Yeah. Appreciate you, man, appreciate everything. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you, brother. And if you have, you was never there, I was there. DJ Hopper. Hopper knows what's good. I remember the first time seeing that Amsterdam sign. Exhibit told me, homie, this trip gon' blow your mind. Made it outside the States, 14 hour flights, spent 10 awake. I couldn't wait. Do you have anything to say about the songs or the yeah, vocals? Yeah, the yeah, you can skip the titles. Yeah. What is your favorite song? Yeah. That's a real question. Yeah. Well, I think personally my favorite song would be Orange Juice. OJ, the OJ song. And it has to do with the fact, like, when, as a producer, when you think about the song you made and, like, whichever was favorite, you're going to think about the process as well. So the whole memory of making that song is going gonna, is gonna to infiltrate your opinion of that song. I really like the OJ song, just the way like it came together, like from the point where you started. Uh, you know how that went, and like how how we both were like, oh, that's that's a very cool way to start a song. Right. And the different vibes we were catching, like going from start to finish, like you're, it's like you're riding emotional waves. Nice. And I mean, that's what real yeah. music is about. Because when you're making an album, you're you're not only just recording your songs, but you're recording moments in your life. The way you want to make things at certain moments are different every day. That's why this project captured like the actual very true meaning of making music. And yeah, man, that's just what I like to hear from music. That's man. some real yeah, ass man. shit, man. Fuck yeah. Opinion, yeah. So orange juice. Orange juice, man. Orange Drink juice. It. <laughs> Live it. Look Beat look cases shit. with it. Beat the cases shit with it. Grin. <laughs> Only you can see the shit eating grin on our cameraman right now. He's so proud of the title of this track, Orange Shoes. He made it. <laughs> the mission was to get in the culture, build with the stoners, make a classic. You can play over and over, and we did it. And we did it.
Some target, some limit, there's a difference Hustle hard, stay lifted, no gimmicks Staying authentic is the only rule Stony Point reporting live from us to you